Do you see that? It looks like a dust up over there. It's getting really interesting. I can see the rain there about a mile away. It's just about to get real interesting. Time for me to get out of here. Alright guys, looks like we got us a nice cell northwest of me. Up here, I was just here at Hannibal and Bowling Green. I'm going to head north and just kind of stay in this area, let it come to me, and then run away from it as it comes south. Looks like the top of the anvil is about to blot out the sun. Very hot and sunny over here. Nice and stormy over there. here in Troy, Missouri, and that is Troy High School over there, and we got a big red cell coming. I'm going to park over here and reassess. Okay, we got a pretty nasty looking cell there, a very small one. This is the composite, so it's actually smaller than that, but the composite includes everything up above. So, temperature, we're at 91.9, plenty of energy here, uh, dew point 70.5, so tons of energy. So you can see I'm underneath what I call the anvil and it's overtaking me and the rest of the storm is over there. I, one thing I learned is like, you think, oh, I'm going to go storm chase. I'm going to be in the southwest part of the storm and it doesn't work like that because, especially the way I do it, when you just run out, you kind of have to just deal with what you've got. And this is the problem with storm chasing at rush hour. This is a small town. So I'm in Troy, Missouri, which is northwest of St. Louis, quite a ways. Small town, nice little town. Um, they have a nice pizza place here called Mr. D's or something. Anyway, it went in the gas station, got a drink. Guy said, I go, there's a storm coming. He goes, yeah. He goes, there's a protest here also. I'm like, really? There's protests in small town as well? But check that out. It's coming right at me, and I'm running away from it. I'm going west. I decided to ditch that going west idea. Going on these small roads, you just get stuck by so much traffic. So I'm going to get back on the main highway and go south because it's coming that way anyway. You just can't outrun a storm when there's just this much traffic in small towns and lights and everything. It's a problem that you really have to think about. It looks so cool. I love the sunlight and the dark cloud contrast. I was better off at that high school back there. So, as this storm goes south on me, I can easily outrun it on this nicer highway. Boy, as I've learned, you've got to stick to the major highways if you want to maneuver around a storm you can get caught up on those side roads and get really really caught up in the traffic man i love church parking lots for storm chasing i want to know if this lightning detector is going to work should should be setting off by now i'm the blue dot we're in a yellow zone i i can easily get on this highway at this point and go south i'm watching this come in so the wind is going towards the storm right now. 91, 9 degrees. Humidity, 50%. Wet bulb, dew point, 70.6. Comfort index was 106. It is so hot right now, but I'm in the sun too. Wind speed, 3.5, going exactly towards the storm. I have got to fix this because this needs to stand up. I can't stand that this does not stand up. It's such a pain. What should I do, guys? Put something there? Nothing has been detected yet. No lightning. Listening. Whoa, one strike, 15 miles. <laughs> That's the first strike I've ever detected on this thing. 15 miles. Three strikes, 12 miles. Four strikes, 11 miles. There are a lot of lightning strikes being detected. We've got five at a distance of three miles away, it says. I haven't seen any, but that's what it says. It's an interesting storm. I'm about to get some shade. 
which I must need, I need very badly, I'm very, very hot. The lightning detector is going crazy right now. <laughs> okay, that looks like a mini storm within a storm. Or maybe it's just a little convection going up there and there. And all I see is just nothing but dark. I don't see anything significant. We lost our sun over there on the water tower. It's gone. And I'm just kind of relaxing now. It's really, other than being hot, it's quite comfortable. I love finding church parking lots. They're always empty. And I feel safe like I'm here in that. Now, I cannot vouch for the accuracy of this, but I, if it is accurate, it's pretty cool. I'm getting lightning strikes and it's telling me how far away they are. I mean, how can I know if it's accurate or not, right? I got eight so far. It says relocate, and I'm wondering if the uh, car is interfering with it or something. I don't know why it's saying relocate, but... What I'm really looking for right now is, it's listening, I'm looking for some kind of significant features other than just dark. I'm looking for any kind of, like, wall cloud or shelf cloud. I'm not seeing it, other than just a bunch of heavy rain right now. One strike, 12 miles, it says. This thing is almost like, not, not a monitoring instrument, it's like a warning instrument. That's what I'm getting, it's like, oh, there's a lightning strike! Maybe they're saying relocate means you need to relocate, like... <laughs> I'm looking at this like, I want to know, as a monitor, where the lightning strikes and how much they are, but it's, it's telling you, oh no, there's a lightning strike, leave. I think that's what it means, it wants me to relocate, not it to relocate. I do like how this thing stands up on its own. Unlike this thing, which falls over. Okay, we got six lightning strikes in the last, since I last reset it in four miles. I wish this thing would just report them and not tell you to relocate, because I think that's pretty stupid. Unable to, unable to, seven strikes, eight strikes, four miles away, nine strikes, four miles away. I wish it wouldn't tell you to relocate, because obviously I'm, if it's a mile away or two or three, I know what I'm doing, I would relocate, but I want to monitor them, I don't want it to preach to me. Check that out, now it's been sitting in the sun, but we got 95 degrees. Probably because of the sun. 71 dew point. It's really high. Wind speed, three and a half miles an hour max. Um, okay, so now I can... Now I can discern a line in there. I can kind of see that line, and I can kind of see any features that might be occurring within the storm. Finally, I see some contrast. Let's take a panoramic view. That's to the south, and that's to the north. It's beautiful, huh? I can hear my lightning striker going off over there. Beep, beep, beep. Yet I haven't heard any thunder or anything. Yeah, I can see kind of the difference there. Bit, little bit of contrast, I can kind of see what's coming. And I will be leaving soon and heading further south, but I'm mostly looking for some kind of Something interesting. <laughs> I've had this on about four minutes, 34, one mile away. 30, 34 strikes, one mile away, we're getting, I wonder if it goes under a mile, let's find out. What's interesting about this is I haven't seen, I haven't seen any lightning. I haven't heard any thunder. Yet it's telling me that there's one, at least one, one mile away. How does it know? So this is what it looks like. I am pretty close to the core of this storm. I'm close enough that I'm about ready to leave. We got 40 lightning strikes. It's, it is starting to cool off, and the wind is going into the storm. It says 94, but it is starting to cool off. I'm watching that line right there, looking for a wall cloud. I am underneath the anvil, and that's of course the base of the storm, and I'm right in its path, and I need to leave here pretty soon. 44 strikes, one mile. I have yet to hear any thunder. No thunder, no lightning, I haven't seen any. Now we can start to see the features of the base of the storm. 
and I am very close to leaving. It's moving pretty slowly, but we got some drop down there. Um, I don't see anything rotating. I don't see any wall clouds. Of course, they could be further back in the storm. Does that look like dust up back there? Check that out. What is that on the ground? What is that? It looks like things are coming up from the ground. Could that be? Could that be? I'm not high enough. I cannot see. Look to the left. I wish I had a better camera. Look to the left of that water tower. It looks like we got a dust up over there. Or rain, I can't tell. Either way, I am about to leave this area. We gotta get out of here. I think we're over 60 strikes now. I get the picture. 62 strikes. Less than one mile, let's get out of here. Do you see that? It looks like a dust up over there. Well, now I see lightning. I also see rain down there. It's time for me to exit. getting really interesting. I can see the rain there about a mile away. I can see the dust. The, the winds are kicking up, obviously. Well, there it goes. <laughs> Time for the backwards hat. Yeah, it's good. the winds are getting strong now. We we're in a thunderstorm. And the dust is kicking up. It's just about to get real interesting. Time for me to get out of here. is moving in on me. I want to get out of here. All right, I went five miles down the road and I am in the, I have a, I'm really close to the highway so I can get out of here. Things are getting exciting. I wanted to check the wind speed. We got eight to 10 mile an hour winds. That's enough to make a nice little dust up. Dust is getting in my eyes. Look at that over there. The time to get out of here. That structure there is freaking beautiful. I don't hear any thunder or lightning yet. Only five, only eight mile an hour winds to wind gusts to get the uh, dust to really going. Now I don't see anything. That looks like a wall cloud, but that that is a low hanging kind of a twisting structure there. And that's an interesting structure. I want to check the temperature too. The temperature is 87.6. It has cooled off quite a bit. It feels really good. I, again, am going to have to get in front of this storm and go south and stay in front of it. But right now I'm just keeping a visual on it. All that looks like a gnarly mess. Okay, so I'm the blue dot right there. It's very close to me. Severe thunderstorm warning. It looks like that weird stuff is going off to the west. Heavy rain is coming straight at me. This is radar scope, by the way, at phone app. It's really good. Pretty lucky with this storm because it's, I've, I've had this nice highway. It's chasing me right down this highway. So 
it is kind of a blob that's always just twisting and turning. I don't know exactly where to be. I don't get a whole lot of choices. I'm still... And of course we're still on the leading edge of the storm. It's not where you want to be. You want to be to the, to the, on the back side of the storm, but yeah, tell me how I'm going to get there, right? So anyway, we're going to watch this and see if anything interesting comes out. And then I'm going to get right back on that highway. It's like someone got scared out of their shoes. I've been managed to stay out of it. All of that I don't want to be in. It's just a big pile of rain. It's not useful for me at all to be in that. I want to see these features here. And unfortunately I will not be able to see a wall cloud because I'd have, probably have to be on the other side of the storm. While we're waiting for more mayhem, let's try the lightning strike device again. Listening. I can see lightning. I cannot hear thunder though. One strike, five miles to be underneath. I'd rather be away from it. Whoa! I think I saw the flash and it beeped just at the same time. Not saying it's rotating, but there's a lot of churning going on here. It's not the part of the storm that would have a wall cloud. I believe it would be further in, which I'm not going to go anywhere near. That looks cool. This whole thing has been going south. <laughs> the whole thing's going south on me. Uh, we've got a really pretty view right there. Uh, but I think there's another storm chaser behind me, but I'm not going to turn the camera on him. This has been a lot of fun, guys. One of the best storms I've ever been on, just for pure beauty. I'm a little worried about, uh, I'm a little worried about, uh, lightning. Uh, lightning. That's kind of cool. Out to the east, there's some convection clouds going on. They are, po storms are popping up, but this is the one I've been on for quite a while. Just met a nice friend here. We talked for a while and we're getting rain. Uh, it was a nice little chat we had. So I got some interesting advice from that young man. He's going to meteorology school in uh, Columbia, which, uh, Missouri, which is M Mizzou, uh, Missouri University. Um, okay, so he told me we were really close to the radar, KSLX, right there, KLSX2. He said he put it on vol uh, tilt two and then the super res velocity, which looks at the wind, and he was—he saw a little bit of rotation in there. Um, I don't see it now, but when he showed it to me, it was there. What's funny is like I knew that, but I never did it. So that's why it's good to talk to people um, to get advice and you learn stuff. 